Good evening, friends. Um, welcome to what is going to be a nightly vlog. We got hubby in the background. Baby Jordan, say what's up. The girls are eating. Where they at? There y'all go. The girls are eating. So let me tell y'all what we're doing tonight. I was inspired by mommy friends far and wide to do a nighttime routine. I've been sleeping on the couch with baby Jordan basically, I don't know, the last two and a half months. He's because the first week I was in the bed, the first like two weeks we were in the bed solo. That was one of the last times that we slept in the bed. So <laughs> anyway, we've been sleeping on the couch because I need the back support because he wants to be held. So I have to sleep with him on my chest or in my arms. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only per only mom or dad or whoever that sleeps like that with a newborn. The kids want to sleep on you. I got plenty of pictures of the twins sleeping on us the same way. So I haven't slept in my bed for like a full night in over two months. So I'm tired of it. So I'm trying to get back in the bed. I've tried two different types of swaddles with this guy. I've let him sleep on his stomach, even though I know you're not supposed to let the baby sleep on his stomach. I've tried letting him just sleep like just free however he wants to sleep up. I don't know. Nothing's working. He doesn't want to sleep in his um, bassinet. He doesn't really want to sleep in the bed. He just wants to sleep on me, which means I have to sleep on the couch. Tonight, we're trying to get back into bed. So I'll show y'all our setup. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. The girls just came back from being at the park with daddy. It's brick outside, but they went outside for a few minutes. So they're eating their dinner. Baby Jordan just had a little food and he actually seems to be quite satisfied because he's been in his swing, not making any noise, just like vibing out for like 20, 30 minutes now. My husband's about to wash the girls. I washed Jordan last night, so I'm not gonna give him a bath tonight. We'll just rinse him off a little bit and start our nighttime routine with everybody. So stay tuned and let's see if I make, I know I can get in the bed. The problem is staying in the bed. Is he going to allow me to sleep through the night with the exception of his feedings? Is he going to allow me to sleep in the bed all night? That is the question. That is the goal is to sleep through the night. So stay tuned. Say hello. Hello. Okay, now eat your food. There's baby Jordan. Hey, man. Hi. And the girls. Hi, Hi. mamas. All right, here's the couch. So what I normally do is... The boppy's not here. I put this pillow here. This one goes behind my head. The big one goes here for arm support. This one goes here so that I can just grab it and put it up under him when it's time to feed because he's in my arms. So I just grab this one and like imagine I'm laying here across the chaise. I'll just put this pillow here. Plop him on it. He feeds. I usually fall asleep, <laughs> fall back asleep, and he's somewhere under or on my boob. Um, but yeah, that that's the situation. Now here's our bed. And I think you guys have seen the room several times. They just came back from outside, so that's why there's clothes there. Um, the bed is bomb. It's comfortable memory foam all that good stuff the problem is when you have a memory foam bed there's no like support for you to just sit up um or at least it don't work like that for me so i've tried like propping the pillows up different ways um i've tried sleeping different ways it just it don't work this is his bassinet it's the twins obviously their old bassinet I've used one side for storage. One side is obviously where he's going to sleep. I've got the traditional swaddle where the baby's arms are down. I've got the swaddle up where his arms are up. Today he did take his nap. He took like two naps in the traditional swaddle. He slept like an hour a piece in um, the swaddle for both of those naps. That's the camera so I can watch him when he's sleeping in here. I don't need it now because we're about to Ooh, sleep in here so I just 
throw it in there because I don't have anywhere to put it stationary because he's not sleeping anywhere right now. So, yeah. I think I'm going to set up, I think I'm going to get my pregnancy pillow because that was like the best when I was sleeping in here. I was wrapped up in a pregnancy pillow and that way I could still just like feed him in the middle of the night and have that support for him. So I think I'm gonna try the pregnancy pillow again because that seems to be the only successful way that we got this done. But yeah, that's the bed. You saw the couch. We trying to get back in this bed. So yeah. How we doing? Look at you guys. Eat your broccoli too. Mm -hmm. Eat your broccoli stink. Y'all are doing really good though. Nom, 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 There's like no food on the floor, on the table. Good job. So baby Jordan doesn't really have a bedtime as of right now because we don't really have a routine going. He's only 10 weeks. No, he's 12 weeks. 11 weeks, something like that. They don't recommend that you really start a sleep routine with your baby until they're at least four months. But you can still, uh-huh, yes, baby. You can still like start to create routines, but just don't hold them to it. But I have noticed that his body starts to get sleepy like around eight o'clock, seven, eight o'clock. So it's 6.49 now. He must have had a really good like feed. I fed him at about six because he's just been kind of chilling, but I do see him rubbing his eyes and stuff. So um, I think I am going to change him and see if he's hungry and maybe feed him again. And then just kind of go from there. I do know that once it gets like to nine and 10 o'clock, if he's not asleep yet, that's when it's like the witching hour as they call it. And like, he's super cranky. He's because he's tired, he's missed his bedtime. He's not really hungry. He just is exhausted. They usually end up crying themselves to sleep at some point, or at least like hollering at some point before they finally just give in. So we don't want that to happen. So Jordan did end up falling asleep. <clears throat> he fell asleep right in my arms like as soon as I picked him up. So he's down for right now. My husband's in there um, just getting out the shower. So he'll keep eyes on him for a little bit. So I'm gonna start winding things down with the girls um, gotta clean up this kitchen a little bit and like I said we're just gonna follow his lead I think it's good that he's sleeping now because the more naps he gets the less likely he is to be cranky um, the girls are watching Peppa Pig which is good I'm gonna try to also eat again I'm going to clean up it's gonna it get too hard to like I think then we get into like overcomplicating like if we're gonna do it high octane we need to just do it the right okay. way non-negotiable well aren't there eggs and bread and put these shapes away come on mommy will help you come on but you can just go with some part for example like this is stuff we use eating yeah that's how you make it that's how you make it whatever like that type of stuff you can break up into several different videos that's what i wanted to do like maybe something like part about like the number the last thing i actually did that huh what'd you say <laughs> don't don't come for me we made it smooth like come on and you overflow overflood the tub hello Hello. You love having your diaper change. Hello to the man. So if he goes to sleep soon, um, ooh, this belly, um, then I probably won't be changing his diaper again. We're just going to put him in a onesie because he sweats. Um, at least when he's sleeping on me, he sweats. Um, 
So we'll just put them in a onesie and some socks. And have his blanket near. It is supposed to get cold. The girls are the exact opposite. We bundled them. Well, we put long sleeve pajamas and bottoms on them because they don't be sleeping under their um, blankets. You know, they sleep wild. So to make sure that they don't get cold, they be having clothes on. The baby Jordan is usually snuggled up with somebody. Yeah, I know. What are you talking about? You want to let your feet be out for a little bit? Yeah. <gasps> Let's have his toesies out. Yeah. Let's have those toesies out. Jordan had cradle cap pretty bad. So it has taken all my man's hair in the front. But he's just a little happy, bald-headed baby. And we love to see it, right? So I just put a little oil in his head now. He's still got a little bit of cradle cap like right here and in the back. But other than that, I mean, it was all over his head, um, his forehead, his eyebrows. A little bit of his ears. Then it was making him break out. Like, it was bad. But see, we're doing better now. Shay, I'm doing better now. See, I feel a couple flakes back here. So when I wash his hair tomorrow, those will come out. And I think he's still got some in the front. But other than that, that's pretty much it. He's ready for bed, right? Right me. Right to that me. Yeah, to the man. Yeah. I'm gonna put his gloves on because he scratches his face. I mean, he got that cocaine nail. We are ready for bed and look who it is. The stinker bigs. You got your pajamas on? Yeah. You ready for night night? Zozo, where are you running to? Oh. Look, say hi. Hi. Mm. I say hi, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> the family's all here. I do hair. Yeah. We're getting ready for night night. For night night. Y'all see my uh, crocs? <laughs> Real men wear pink crocs. Real men wear crocs. And I'm securing my masculinity so I can wear pink ones. Yeah, mommy's gonna put her pajamas on too. Uh oh, see? So get down. What's up, my boy? Get down. What's up, my boy? It's okay, baby. Just don't hurt yourself. Hurry! <laughs> Jordan set tripping, but we're gonna let him slide. I'm about ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna start, I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start playing like that. Please! <laughs> Man, set crib. He going to Nipsey Blues, bro. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, look at the lip. You know what I'm saying? My bad, man. Here. Hey, come get this, man. It's a little cold, so we are going to put your socks on now. And I think he is hungry. Or do you want to play? Are you playing? Let me get the PlayStation remote so I can watch something on TV. Definitely hungry. Like he's scrolling down right now. Nana. Oh, are you taking daddy to the room? Nana. But you gotta have your nannies. Yeah, we're gonna go night night. Yeah. We're gonna go night night. Yeah. It's a diamond. It's a diamond, yeah. It's just no baby Jordan. Baby Jordan, yeah. Baby Jordan. He's not crying, he's eating. He's eating. Uh-oh, Sissy got some nanas. Uh-oh, it's yummy. Yeah, go ahead, have some. Stop uh, talking. You gonna stop her? Uh-uh. We're not jumping. Mm -mm. We're getting ready for bed. Yeah, I just... 
I thought he was going to go in the room. It's no applesauce, baby. Oh, I should. I haven't. We, we got to get you some applesauce. We'll get you some tomorrow. Then in my room. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, yeah, she's going to in the room. Go in the room, baby. Go get your Nana. Yeah, go get your Nana's. Yeah, eat your Nana's, baby. I put Nana. Her new thing is grabbing me and telling me, come on. Like she pay rent. She don't pay for nothing. And she grabbed me and tell me to come on. That's what we do at night. Just play in that little room. Don't jump, we got people below us. Yeah, bounce. Bounce. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Night night. He's swaddled. I got the lights out, and I'm about to put the night night jams on. Um. Because he was rubbing his eyes and he definitely seems kind of sleepy. So um, let us pray that he sleeps comfortably in his swaddle. And we will check back in for his feedings. Night, night. So it is 9.50. I've been rocking Jordan since about 8 o'clock. I'm definitely tired of rocking him. So my husband just took him for a walk. Um, he's in his swaddle, he's been in his swaddle and he is fighting with everything he's got. It's one of those things where when he does fall asleep, he's literally just gonna pass out. Um, but as I anticipated when it gets past nine o'clock, um, he just, is so tired that it's hard to um, get him to go to sleep. He's fighting his sleep at this point. So I was trying to avoid that by having him go to by having him go to sleep between eight and nine, but he's still an infant, so I can't. You know, you can't really dictate that. Um, so it is what it is. He's not screaming, but he keeps like getting ready to. And um, I either stick a boob or a pacifier in his mouth to get him to calm down. But yeah, he's um, he's definitely past his bedtime. He's just trying to he's trying to be grown. So yeah. So 
just a little after one. And I'm about to give up and just get on the couch. Um, he went down at like 11. No, he went down at like 10 something. My husband got him to go to sleep. And then he woke up. And I got him to go back down at 11. And he is back up before 12. Then I got him to go back to sleep. And now it's one something. So he's waking up every hour. Which is painful. So I'm about to give up. I have to come in the bathroom. So like I was saying. With this. Sleeping in the um. Swaddle. Not working. He's getting up every hour. And then I'm having to feed him and put him back down. We're not doing that. So now I have him laying on his stomach. I know you're not supposed to do that. But I'm right there next to him. Which you're also not supposed to do. But that's for times I'm exhausted. So my husband is asleep on the couch. He's abandoned ship. So it's literally just me and the baby. So we're going to see you sleeping on his stomach. At least gets us through. Because if we were on the couch, he would have slept from like 11 to 3. We didn't even make it to two o'clock yet. It's just after one. So we'll see how far this gets us. I'll check back in. Good morning. It is 7.30. Um, I've been up off and on since like 6.55. As you can see, baby Jordan's up. He's eating. Um, I think he's done, so I'm gonna hurry up. Um, but we made it through the night. Not how I planned. He did not stay in the swaddle. He ended up sleeping on his stomach. Um, so we still gotta work on that, but we slept in the bed. I didn't have to hold him. He slept right beside me. We both had space. Um, my husband abandoned the mission and ended up sleeping on the couch, but it did give me and Jordan space to spread out for the first time in months. So happy about that. Um, so yeah, mission accomplished. Now we just gotta work on that swaddle and then eventually the bassinet, so. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.